I worked as a student here in 1979. I fell in love with the place and I vowed to come back. And in 2010, circumstances permitted me to come back with a group of students from the consortium of colleges, including Claremont Graduate University and the Claremont Colleges. We are located now at Tel Aco, which was a major maritime center. It remained as an important center on the Tel until the Hellenistic period, so you have 3,000 years of occupation here, spanning the early Bronze Age through the Hellenistic period. What we are excavating right now is mainly the Persian period. And here to my left, what we found was an iron industrial area. This was a Phoenician center at this time, and it seems that the Persians established a metalworking area to produce weapons for their campaigns against Egypt in the south. What you can see over here are our students and our team members and our staff excavating. Actually, they've just gotten to the bottom of the Persian industrial area. We're now entering the 7th century BCE, the Iron Age, when this area was under Assyrian domination. So we're now walking down to a new area we opened up last year. We're calling it Area Z. And it's the first time we ever excavated in the actual middle of the tell. And what we have here is something I've never seen in my entire life. A massive, I would say heap of pot shirts all dating to the 7th century BCE, the time when Akko was part of the Neo-Assyrian Empire. This bowl is a complete profile, you can see, and it dates to the 7th century BC, and it just continues and continues and continues. It's never ending. One of the technologies we use is 3D photogrammetry. It's very important because as we excavate, we're destroying the past. We're destroying exactly what we love. And throughout history of archaeology the past 200 years, archaeologists have always imagined how can they recreate all the artifacts and earth and debris and sediment that they're removing each day from the dig. And with this new technology of photogrammetry and 3D imaging, we've been able to actually achieve that goal of being able to reconstruct each day what we excavate.